Major infrastructure projects are high profile and critical to the economy, particularly in a context of increasing urbanization, growing population, and fast development of emerging economies. In such complex projects, leadership is essential to navigate several aspects of project delivery, understanding the dimensions and interfaces between technical, organizational, and political topics. The UCL MBA in Major Infrastructure Delivery provides a platform for senior professionals to further strengthen and develop their management and leadership capabilities, which will be the foundation of their strategic decisions and shape the dynamics of future cities and societies. Based in London as part of the Bartlett, UCL's world-leading faculty of the built environment, the course will be based at the brand new UCL East campus, situated in the Olympic Park. The vision for the MBA is to transform performance of major infrastructure projects globally. We're bringing together cutting-edge scientific research connected with global case studies with leading infrastructure practitioners. Leadership is crucial to infrastructure projects. The reason for that is they're complex. And they have a major impact on society. We need to be training the leaders for these particular special projects. In terms of governance, it's really important to understand who does what and when, and who is the decision maker and who is the influencer. On mega infrastructure projects, that could be up to 10 or 11 different organisations or groups or boards. We need to really train our new leaders in infrastructure to understand what governance is, how it helps make decisions, and how progressive, i.e. real-time assurance, gives them the evidence and the structure to make the best decisions. Getting organisations what we would call sort of match fit, is sort of crucial and actually sort of one of the, from, a, from the point of view of whether it's the chief executive or the program director, it is probably one of the most important things that I have to say is probably somewhat understated and under understood. And if you aspire to one of the most sort of senior leadership roles, my hope would be that the MBA gives those students who do the course a sense of what's involved, what it might mean for them personally, and then they can set their own trajectories how they're going to get there. 20 years ago, if you'd mentioned sustainability, social value, people, empathetic leadership, uh, a lot of people in the room would just have wondered what you were talking about. Uh, and, and now leaders are faced with quite different demands on them in the way that they operate. The people that are going to make those decisions, that are going to support those decisions, that are going to lead on the programs and projects, we need to prepare them with the tools, with the experience, with the exposure, uh, and indeed with the support network. Uh, that they need to be able to confidently make the right decisions and engage their teams in making the right decisions in the right way. We wouldn't expect someone in a leadership role to know the ins and outs, the fine detail of electronic and digital techniques. But they do need to know what the capabilities are, how they might be used, and, and how they can best be used to the benefit of the, the project at hand. It is really important when one starts a project or programme to understand the outcome, not just of the project, what one is building or creating, but, for, but the outcome for the people who are going to use it and operate it. This course is absolutely critical to allow people to think about this so that when they're putting leadership teams together, when they're creating teams, they can think about the end as well as the beginning and engaging with the operator, building relationships with the operator to ensure that the, that the operation goes smoothly. People who manage major infrastructure projects going forward need to have emotional intelligence, not just intelligence or technical know-how because major projects going forward are getting more complicated. They're part of a system, systems thinking is required, they're having to look after lots of different people, lots of different teams. You can sense when something's going well and when something's not going so well. And if you can address that by talking to people, by helping them, then the project will go better. So it's really, really important to be aware of how people feel around you. We focused an awful lot in the past, perhaps on what it is we're building rather than why we're building it, what the benefits are. And I think going forward and certainly looking at all the challenges we face around the world, um, we've got to get right back to the, what are we trying to achieve in the first place? And when you can get really clear on that and really understand what benefits in the process of delivering that infrastructure we, we can deliver for society, then we stand a much, much better chance of delivering the right thing in the first place. 
This course will train the infrastructure leaders of the future really well to cope with the challenges they have to face. We're in a really complex, changing and dynamic world. Those new challenges of net zero and embracing digital mean they have to be equipped with the skills to do that in the best way they can. We have a real opportunity to change the world, actually. Infrastructure is typically delivering some of the most complex, novel and largest projects on the planet. And I find that really exciting and I think they should be excited about what the future holds.